She left the suds in the bucket and the clothes hanging out on the line. Hi, I'm Sarah Evans, and this is the hit story of my song, Suds in the Bucket. She left the suds in the bucket and the clothes hanging out on the line. When I was getting ready to go in the studio to make my album Restless, I was actually out in Oregon, and I got a CD sent to me, and the title was Suds in the Bucket, and I didn't know anything about the song, about the songwriters, nothing. So I popped it in, in the car, and it was just this really weird, it was actually in a shuffle beat, like a two-step, not a train beat, but it was this girl singing, um, she left the suds in the bucket and the clothes hanging out on the line. And it was like so country, and like I said, a shuffle beat but I loved the lyrics and I loved the story. I thought it was just hilarious and I'd never recorded a song like that. All the biddies in the beauty shop, gossip going nonstop. All the biddies in the beauty shop, gossip going nonstop, sipping on pink lemonade. So then I went to the record label and I was shocked because they didn't love the song. And in fact, they were sort of adamant against it. And Joe Galante, who was the head of RCA Records, we had an amazing relationship and he always kind of let me do whatever I wanted. For some reason, he just kind of put his foot down and said, no, we don't like the song. We think it's not you. And I could just envision how it would sound once I got a hold of it in the studio. So I kind of threw a little fit. I even had to get on the phone with Joe Galante and kind of throw a diva fit. Just let me record the song. If you hate it after I record it, then we don't have to put it on the record. So we went in and recorded it. We made it a train beat. We made it super fast. We made it amazingly fun, instrumentally, changed some of the verses and courses around. We thought this is just a smash hit. And the label still didn't love it, but they agreed to let me put it on the record. But they said, okay, you can put it on the record, but it's gonna be the last song on the record. I think that was just their way of saying, fine, we give in, but we still want something. Well, then they started going out to radio with the album. Every single radio programmer would email them or call them, man, we love that Suds in the Bucket song. And I was like, yes. So we ended up releasing it as a single. We made this awesome video. I was pregnant with my daughter, Audrey, in that video, because I seen most of the song turned around because I had a little baby bump. I was like six months along. Nothing quite like this. Here before. When we released Suds in the Bucket in May 2004, I wasn't surprised because I knew in my gut. I mean, I just felt like God was just literally speaking to me, like, release this song. And so I was not really surprised, but I was thrilled and so grateful. And every week that it just moved up the charts, I was like, wow. Then it really became a major, major hit. She left the suds in the bucket and the clothes hanging out on the line. Still to this day, everybody talks about, we love that suds in the bucket. And that's probably my most played repeat song. It's never waned, the excitement for that song. And we save it towards the end of the show and people just go crazy every night.